Hey everyone, and welcome to our series on the Daily Stoic. January 3rd, be ruthless to the things that don't matter. Today's passage comes from On the Brevity of Life by Seneca. How many have laid waste to your life when you weren't aware of what you were losing? How much was wasted in pointless grief, foolish joy, greedy desire, and social amusements? How little of your own time was left to you. You will realize you are dying before your time. Holiday reminds us that one of the hardest things to do in life is to say no to invitations, to requests, to obligations, to the stuff that everyone else is doing. Even harder is saying no to certain time-consuming emotions. Anger, excitement, distraction, obsession, lust. None of these impulses feels like a big deal by itself, but run amok, they become a commitment like anything else. If you're not careful, these are precisely the impositions that will overwhelm and consume your life. Do you ever wonder how you can get some of your time back? How you can feel less busy? Start by learning the power of no, as in no thank you, and no, I'm not going to get caught up in that, and No, I just can't right now. It may hurt some feelings. It may turn some people off. It may take some hard work. But the more you say no to the things that don't matter, the more you can say yes to the things that do. This will let you live and enjoy your life, the life you want. One man can only tend to so many gardens. And think of your life like a garden. A gardener doesn't let his garden run amok. He takes time and patience to trim and prune back his garden so that a few things can grow fruitfully. You should do the same. As I've gotten older, I've taken on many more responsibilities. I've gotten married, I've had children, I've started a career, a business, I've got a dog, a house, a car, I've got all these different things vying for my time. And as I said, I'm a good gardener and I know how to prune my life tree. But in pruning my life tree, I've had to give up a lot of things that I really enjoy. Going to concerts, watching three or four different sports, um, all my other hobbies that I really loved, video games, right? Things that made me who I was before I became who I am. And one piece of advice that I would give to you is that You need to keep one of those trees, one of those branches for yourself. Don't eliminate all of the things that bring you pleasure, all of the things that bring you happiness, all of the things that make you who you are in the quest for who you want to become, right? Be content with who you are now while you become the person you want to be. But don't give up everything that you love. Don't give up everything that you enjoy. And don't give up everything that takes some of your own solo, individual, personal time. Even though you have to make time for other people, you gotta remember to make time for yourself. As always, this passage comes from The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday, an amazing book that I can't recommend strongly enough.